Salut! Hey guys, today I'm gonna share the fastest way that you can learn a language. Rochelle DeMeo from Beltier Academy. So recently I was asked by a student, hey, Prof DeMeo, that's what they call me in class, what is the fastest way that I can learn French? And I have different tips that will make you become fluent in French quickly. And this can be applied to French, but really to any cool. language. So the short answer is the amount of exposure that you have to that language. You might say, hey, Rochelle, that's kind of a given, right? But these are ways that you can expose yourself to French or any other language that you're learning so that you can master it very quickly. Also, towards the end of the video, you're not going to want to miss out a bonus tip that I have and also how you will know that you've actually achieved something close to fluency. So how do you expose yourself to more of a language possibly outside of taking a class? Well, the first thing is simply what you watch. It could be movies that you're watching, maybe you're reading articles or magazines or you're reading the news, but it is what you actually watch. Maybe you're just paying attention to labels and you're realizing, wow, there's a lot of labels that are actually written also in French. So that's the first thing. The second thing is really what you listen to. You may be listening to YouTube YouTube videos without me necessarily watching them. Maybe you're doing that right now. And funny enough, I just found out that some of you are French speakers listening to me in English to develop your English skills. So merci pour le soutien. No way. So it could be what you listen to. So I mentioned movies, YouTube videos, podcasts, songs in the target language. And let's not forget the news. That might give you a different perspective of something going on around the world, but that's seen through a different lens, right? Before I provide the bonus tips, I have two more points for you. But before I share these, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, click on the little bell so you can be notified of the next upcoming YouTube videos. I also want to take a brief moment to thank the 14,000 subscribers already on this channel. So the third point is how much you use the language, whether you're practicing it with family, friends, possibly using it at work, that is key. And one thing I've also discussed in other videos is thinking about possibly having long-term or short-term a um, roommate that speaks the target language. If you want to discover how I did that as we had a French speaking roommate from French Guyana live with us for four and a half years, you're going to want to watch this video next. And the fourth point is really what you do in that language. What language are you writing in? What language are you reading in? How are you just changing what you do from your native language, the language that probably feels more comfortable to you, and start doing those same things but in that target language. And then if you're taking a class or learning French on your own, well, what I suggest that you focus on, what I do with my students, is that I teach them the most used phrases and words. There's no point in starting to learn a new language by focusing on words that you're barely or maybe never going to use. Focus on the most commonly used words and phrases, and second of all, or point B should I say, I don't even know. Anyway, what you want to do is also you want to focus on words that apply to your personal life. So learn words that really apply, to, that you're going to use in conversation when you talk to others. Yep. Are you ready for the bonus point? Yes. All right, so this is your bonus tip. So if you're thinking, hey, I would love to be able to communicate more with native speakers, but I really don't have many people around me that are natives that I can communicate with. Well, one easy way that you can find that, you might say, hey, Rochelle, you've already shared the meetup group tip. I have. You can check out meetups and they're great and you can find native speakers. But something that a lot of people don't know or don't think to do is going on Facebook and looking at expat groups. Groupe d'expatriés. Sometimes the words come to me a little bit easier in French than in English because I was born and raised there. But um, expat groups um, of the target language. So, for instance, let's say that you live in San Diego. You might look up expat groups in San Diego, like French in San Diego. Or in, to actually find them, it helps if you write it in French. Les Français de San Diego. And you're going to say, whoa. I didn't know that those 20,000 native French speakers living in San Diego. So by looking up expat groups 
of the target language and possibly writing it in the target language, you will find a bunch of people around you that are French speaking. And that could be for anywhere that you live or that possibly a place that you're visiting. For instance, I actually have a student right now in Bali and I asked him, I said, so how are you keeping up with your French? And he said, you know what, Prof de Mayo, I'm keeping up with my French just fine because I found an expat groups of French speakers in Bali and we're going out at night and we're eating dinner together and I'm communicating in French while I'm actually on vacation in Bali. How cool is that, right? So that's your bonus tip. I also have the second, not tip, but the way that you will find out or realize that you are really thinking in the language, is, which is ultimately you becoming fluent in the language, is when you start dreaming in that language. So when you start dreaming in a language, it means that you've been thinking about it throughout the day, you've been doing things in that language, and your brain, while it's resting, while it's sleeping, but it's still active, is now suddenly, wow, you're like, huh. I'm actually thinking the language while I'm sleeping. If this video was great and you loved it and you want more of the similar content, please comment in the comment box so I can keep making these free videos for you.